Speaking with Mr. O. Good evening, everyone. Good day. Are you well? I know you can't answer me back. I will just say, subscribe. It's nice to see our subscribers creeping up, but we can always... It's never... I think we've brought the 200 mark now, haven't we? You can never have enough subscribers. It's always nice and to be appreciated. And there's a lot of people who... Intelligent people. We're, I'm glad to see we've not got a lot of fuckwits who watch these videos because they wouldn't get them. There's not enough flashing lights or poker man or, or, or big loud noises. It, it's basically for, for um, intelligent types. So I salute you and salute yourselves. We're cooking sausages on a Monday. No, it's a simple laugh. We're eating Mother God's, Nature. God's Green Cathedral. I'll just do a panel. You know, and um, most people are in work now. In some warehouse or factory, but where Mr. H's job affords him certain free times, and, and because I've chose to opt out of society, as basically we don't have to. Fortunately. Have you noticed? Exist in those confines. Have you noticed, sir, how your food always tastes better cooked out in the open? Everything is we, we, better out, out in here, in, in nature, in... You know, you, like I've always said this before, and I've researched it, but once you go in nature, you, your body change, your body aligns to nature, the frequency, because all the trees emit an ele electrical frequency. Yeah. They align to it. And that's the problem of people who live in cities and inner cities and all that and why there's so much trouble and strife and pain is because they've lost connection with nature. And that's what the man wants to do. They want to build houses on all this. They want, they want you logged into the frequency of Wi-Fi and, and phone masts. And that's what they want, basically. But this is where it's at. You don't need Prozac or Fluxetine or any of that other shit. You just need this. Well, we was discussing off camera, wasn't we, regarding um, regarding antidepressants. Yeah. Where when they sort of stop working, the the answer by that is, well, we'll just up your dosage. Yeah. And they end up with a bad heart. Somebody I know is in the, in this position, and it's tragic because I can't. You tell these people they won't take you on because every person I meet is on antidepressants. Antidepressants. I always say get the fuck off them, but they mm. won't listen to me because I'm not a doctor. And That's it. it. Interesting. I was going to make a video about this. We've come round to it. Um, can you actually put your faith, Mr. H, in modern healthcare? Can you put your faith in a doctor who has representatives from big pharma coming to him saying, "Right, we've got this new new uh, product. Shift so much of that, we'll get you a bonus. We'll take you on holiday. We'll take you for meals." Why well, your doctor has to shift things? Mm. Right. Well, is, uh, in my life, he's a legal drug dealer, isn't he? Big Pharma is the biggest drug de biggest drug cartel on the planet. Never mind Colombia and Pablo Escobar and all that. Basically, I've only seen two doctors in my life that have about have, have depression who was sound. Yeah. And the rest just write a prescription. You yeah. Know, and I don't I don't put any faith in modern healthcare. You know, I've mentioned this before. And I probably will mention it again about cancer. You know, people have raised hundreds and billions, if not trillions of dollars and pounds towards cancer research. Um, we live in an age now where we can achieve almost anything and yet they can't cure cancer. Mm. But Dr. Richard Day, I have mentioned this before, sorry. Um, I need to bang the point home. Dr. Richard Day in 1969 gave a speech in Pittsburgh to doctors what said we have cured almost every type of cancer. The problem is if no one dies of cancer the population stays up and you may as well die of cancer than anything else. None of royal, no royalty, no elites ever die of cancer. You know, I think mm. Princess Margaret did but they wanted to shut her because she was a fucking liability. Was it lung cancer that did her in hand? Just yeah, smoker, she wasn't she? She was into drugs, wasn't she? Yeah. That film, The Bank Job, wasn't it? was based on it, wasn't it? Because they found some photographs of having a threesome with two, two black fellas, and this black dissident was fucking black. Jimmy, she, she was a right goer, huh? Yeah, she was, she was actually having a threesome with two black, and they found, and he had these fucking photographs, and he was, he was blackmailing the 
British government, that's where they filmed the bank job came from. Have you, yeah, it was Baker Street bank job, I think it was originally, in real life. Uh, have you ever heard the story where she, she was she, she, some local gangster? Have you ever watched Get You, you know, John Get Binden. Yeah, gl gl putting gl pint pots on his fucking erect cock. Yeah, um, he, he was in um, Get Carter. He was also in Get Carter at the it beginning. Was, uh, it, did he die? He, 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 he was a wrong one, basically. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good actor. He's in a film called Barry Lyndon. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but he was, he was um, an actor. But, yeah, she was. I think she was knocking him off, wasn't she? And, um, yeah. They, they all used to go to uh, Bahamas, didn't they? And have do cocaine and have these wild parties. Ooh, allegedly, yeah. 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 Look, you know, I can believe it. Because it's power. And, you know, but they, they, well, power they, corrupts her. She was a fucking embarrassment to them. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, Lady like, Die of the Day. Well, L Lady Die wasn't really an embarrassment. I've been reading up about this. She showed him up. To, she she came across as a human and a person with fucking feelings. Queen of Arts. And everybody loved her. Mm. And they and because and because it, it, she, her popularity fucking outweighed Threatened hers, them. and they couldn't cope with it, so they wanted to fucking rid of her. Mm. Basically, do you read into the history of the Windsors? The horrible cunts who've got the fingers in. So many dodgy fucking pies and businesses you would not mm. believe. I mean, all this shit about the Queen's just a figurehead, she has no power. Why does the Prime Minister have to go and consult the Queen every time she starts a new government or every time a new Prime Minister is um, elected? Mm -hmm. it, she, she rules, she, she has more power than is some people think. think. You know, and they're involved in a lot of nasty things, those people. You know, and why do they, what right do they have to fucking rule us other than a bloodline? Mm. They, they are self-appointed for it from some bloodline who, from people who fucking invaded somewhere, just took it on themselves to be king, stuck a fucking crown on their own Do heads. you know that it is still a treasonable offence in this country to even consider, to even consider, to even think of this country without a monarchy. Yeah, yeah. Well, it is, isn't it? I mean, you know, either going to enforce that is interesting, but... I mean, I, I know, we all know my fate. I'm going to end up clapped in irons somewhere, you know what I mean? Yeah. But there you fucking go, that's laugh. You know. Yeah. How's them sausages doing, sir? So? Doing all right. We're on a slow burn today. Yeah, we, we found out... Easier. Better in Texas slow cook. was too aggressive and the steak was slightly ruined. So you, you can't have everything. Subscribe though. You must subscribe. Definitely, definitely. Um, I think we'll mention Terry the Butcher in Endley again. So, Ter, it's, ma, ter, ma, what, is it, what is his business actually called? Uh, it's just traditional English butcher, I think. Market Street Endley, traditional English butcher Terry. He's a bit nuts, but he does good barbecue packs for a tenner if you're having a barbecue. Yeah. And all that. Get yourself to him. I Support. think he's what's known as old school, sir. We like old school. Support the little man. Fuck Tesco off with its shit meat. Yeah, because you, know. you can't beat that cooked out in the open. You know, and barbecues. You don't even have to buy one of them dog shit barbecues from Asda. The crap, like man, aren't they? You know, them barbecues for a pound are fucking rubbish because that metal comes off on your meat. Yeah. Fucking right it does. But we built this. Mr. H built this with his own fur hand. Yeah, cut it's that, then cut that metal to size with a grinder. If you're going to do that, get an adult to help you with that age or your mental. You know, but... I must admit, it's not my design. It's one somebody had when we was when we were young children. You know. But, but yeah, it's, it's been what... It's been a while now. It's not been pogged yet. Touch wood. I'm sure at some point somebody will come over and kick it in, but... Nature at beast, sir. Uh, we've actually had... Oops. We actually had sir, some of our wood stolen out of here, yeah, two bags of wood. We have, somebody's been pinched all our wood, haven't they? Yeah, I chopped it up nicely and that. Watch, we don't whinge about that. We'll have somebody say we, 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 we're, we're, we're like children mourning about our den being fogged, but... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, dolly mixtures all round. All that. Um, right, sir, I think we'll leave it there, because okay. we're coming up to nine and a half minutes. We're doing, we're doing quite well no today, problem. sir. Right, we'll catch you later and we'll enjoy these sausages. Subscribe. And subscribe.